If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with a quick Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. Guys, this morning we have brand new Ultimate Legends coming to Madden Ultimate Team. We've got, first of all, the brand new Boss Legend running back Walter Payton. I almost said quarterback Walter Payton. I wish it was quarterback Walter Payton. That would be freaking epic. But this card itself is damn amazing. Definitely one of the best running backs that is going to come out this season. Wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being the best running back all year in terms of balance. We're still waiting for that boss, Barry Sanders, to come out. So that still has the potential to be the best running back in the game. But for right now, I actually believe that this definitely competes with Golden Ticket Marcus Allen as being the best running back in the game. 101 speed, 98 agility. You see the 102 acceleration there. Now, obviously, guys, I made a video a couple weeks back talking about this the attributes that are over 100 and how I'm not 100% sure that those things matter but if you do think that they matter this is definitely a card that has a bunch of them in the areas that we really really care about it's not weak in any area as far as running backs go I mean really nothing to be honest with you it's just an absolute monster we'll have to see where it look or how it looks as far as like catching the ball goes but in terms of the pure running attributes this thing is a freaking tank especially with that 103 trucking this is a card that is going to fall forward almost every single time when it gets contact and it's going to get you that extra yardage that you need to pick up those first downs so i definitely really like this card it's an absolute beast my guess is that this thing will probably end up falling around the 1.25 to 1.5 million mark uh somewhere in that range i think golden ticket marcus allen right now is going somewhere between 1.5 to 1.75 million depending on which console that you're on so I wouldn't be surprised if Walter Payton's a little bit less expensive than that just because it's not a golden ticket and it's probably not going to be quite as limited as Marcus Allen was but even still this card is going to be amazing for the rest of the year if you get this thing you can definitely keep it as your starting running back for the remainder of the season now the other card that is also going to be coming out today is another boss ultimate legend this is Bruce Smith now, Bruce Smith is another amazing Ultimate Legend boss card. I'm telling you guys, this thing is a freaking monster as well. But what I will say is that I don't think this is as good as either the, the, J the Jadavion Clowney Golden Ticket, and it's certainly not as good as Ultimate Legend Reggie White. Because if you take a look and compare it to the Reggie White, I mean, Reggie White's got it in speed by one, strength by six. If you Again, if you believe the attributes over 100, it's better in acceleration, better in tra uh, tackling, better in block shedding, basically better in absolutely every single area that you would look at. The only thing where they're even tied is play recognition at 100 so uh, again I would definitely say that the Reggie White is better than this Bruce Smith and Jadavion Clowney I think I would say is better just because it has 98 freaking speed along with 98 acceleration so it's just one of those cards that has those freak attributes that you just can't compare to anything else but other than those two cards, I believe that this is probably the best boss ultimate legend defensive end in terms of overall balance. I mean, you could de you could probably make an argument for Deacon Jones or maybe even uh, JJ Watt. But I think that this card, as far as overall attributes go, I think it, I mean, it's definitely in line with those cards for sure. It might be slightly better than them, though. So uh, that's just my opinion on it. I want to hear from you guys, though. What do you guys think as far as these defensive end ultimate legends go? I mean, do you think that this card is better than the, the Curse? Do you think it's better than Deacon Jones, J.J. Watt? I mean, obviously, like I said, he's not better than Reggie White. But where do you think he falls as far as the overall number of, uh, as far as the, the placement of of where you would rank him right now among defensive ends in this game let me know in the comment section below i'm interested to hear from you guys thanks so much hope you guys enjoyed the video good luck pulling packs today and i will talk to you guys again soon